Good day, great and art warriors! I am Jericho Pontipiedra of Bignay National High School. I am happy to see you again. Are you excited for our today's lesson? Great! Come and join me as we begin to explore the remaining media-based arts and design in the Philippines. Before we start, let us first be reminded once again with the protocols to follow during the live streaming class. First, respect everyone. Second, no hate speech. Third, be guided with the anti-cyber bullying law. Fourth, no promotion of products or items. Fifth, use appropriate words in giving suggestions, comments, and queries. Six, after the FB live streaming, attend the class discussion in the FB Messenger classroom with the subject teacher. I hope everyone will be guided by these protocols for us to maintain the orderliness during our session. So allow me to give you the competencies that you are about to learn in this video. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to Create artworks that can be assembled with local materials Explains the characteristics of media-based arts and design in the Philippines. And applies different media techniques and processes to communicate ideas, experiences, and stories. Before you get fully excited, you may want to participate in our short activity by typing your answers in our comment section. This game is entitled, jumbled letters in this activity you will identify the media based art terminologies by arranging the jumbled letters you will be given 10 seconds on each number and if you got all perfect score you will be given an art warrior badge are you ready let's start with number one the process of designing drawing making layouts and preparation of photographic sequences which are integrated in the multimedia and gaming products. If your answer is animation, you are correct. Next, number two. Any written or pictorial form of communication produced mechanically or electronically using printing or photocopying like newspapers, journals, and etc. If your answer is print media, that is excellent. Let's now proceed to number 3. Any form of media that uses electronic devices for distributions like ebooks and etc. If your answer is digital media, superb! You got it right! Next, number 4. The art of applying design, aesthetics, clothing construction, and natural beauty to clothing and its accessories. If your answer is fashion design, you are amazing! And for the last number, Number 5. A process of design applied to products that are to be manufactured through techniques of mass production. Mm. 
If your answer is industrial design, marvelous! You got it right! It's nice that you have a good strategy in identifying terms in media-based arts. You have earned your first Art Warrior badge. Good job! Before we proceed with our lesson, let us remember and have a recap about our previous lesson. You may type your answer in our comment section. This activity is entitled, Name It to Win It. This round is called See My Name. Our category is well-known personalities in the field of photography and film. You will be given 10 seconds to guess the name. If you got perfect score, you will be given an Art Warrior badge. Are you ready? Let's start with number 1. If your answer is George Tapan, you are correct! Next, number 2. If your answer is Mike De Leon, that is excellent! Let's now proceed to number 3. If your answer is Mario De Los Reyes, superb! You got it right! Next, number 4. If your answer is Brillante Mendoza, you are amazing! And for the last number, number 5. If your answer is John Chua, marvelous! Your answer is right! You have a great mind in recognizing famous personalities in the field of photography and film. With that, you have earned your second Art Warrior badge. Awesome! Let us have another activity, Art Warriors. This activity is entitled, Guess That Anime. I want you to guess the title of an anime show based on the picture presented. Write your answer at the comment box below. You only have 10 seconds to guess that anime. And if you got all the correct answers, you will be given an Art Warrior badge. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1 If your answer is Ghost Fighter, you are correct! Next, number 2. If your answer is Hunter x Hunter, you are doing great! Let's proceed with number 3. If your answer is slam dunk, that is right. Next, number 4. If your answer is one punch man, you are awesome. And last, number 5. If your answer is Demon Slayer, Marvelous, your answer is right! Congratulations! With your sharp memory, you earn your third Art Warrior badge.
Art Warriors. Let's begin our discussion with the media-based arts in the Philippines, particularly animation, print and digital media, industrial design, and fashion design. Animation Animation is a process of designing, drawing, making layouts, and preparation of photographic sequences, which are integrated in the multimedia and gaming products. There are notable groups of animators here in the Philippines. The Animation Council of the Philippines Incorporated and the Philippine Animation Studio Incorporated. First, the Animation Council of the Philippines Incorporated is a non-stock, non-profit organization that aims to create the identity for the Philippines within the animation industry, making it one of the preferred sources of animation services worldwide. The organization works hand-in-hand -hand with the participating colleges and universities. The Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, or TESDA, and the other government agencies and local government units to develop animation as a promising career option for Filipinos. The showpiece of the ACPI is Animahinasyon, an annual festival and competition featuring the works of Filipino animators. Apart from this major project, the ACPI grants the annual Outstanding Emerging Artists in Animation Award for outstanding young and fast-rising cartoonists and animators in the country. It is also confers Animahinasyon's Lifetime Achievement Award on notable animators and other contributors to the Philippine animation industry. And the other one is the Philippine Animation Studio Incorporated or PASI. It has been in the forefront of the animation industry since 1991. When its goal to develop and promote the Filipino artists, PASI is consistently working with numerous industry giants and major players in the animation and entertainment industries. It is still continues to receive various awards and recognitions from international award-giving bodies like World Animation, Annecy Film Festival, Gemini Awards, Pixel Awards, and Canadian Screen Awards, and many more. There are famous animated films created by the Filipinos. First, Orduha. Sinanay kita para maging karapat-dapat na pinuno ng tawilisi. Ikaw at ang lalaking yung makakaisang dibdi. Wala yan sa amo ko. Sa amo ko, plastado lahat. Huwag okay, gano'n. Second, Dayo sa Mundo ng Elementalia. And last, RPG Metanoia. Nangyari na to. Dahil sarili ko lang iniisip ko, pero hindi ko kayo mag-isa. Barkada tayo, di ba? Kami bakap mo! Next is the print media and digital media. Print media is any written or pictorial form of communication produced mechanically or electronically using printing or photocopying. It includes large-scale publications such as newspapers, magazines, journals, book of all kinds, as well as smaller-scale posters, brochures, flyers, menus, and the like. One major field that is still relies heavily on print media is advertising, along with advertising copywriters who provide the text for titles, taglines, and body copy. An entire team of modern-day art professionals creates the look for each ad. These range from art directors to photographers to graphic designers to illustrators. If the ad subject requires it, the team may further include food and product stylists, fashion stylists, hair and makeup artists, set and lighting designers, all for the purpose of creating an advertisement that will appear on a printed page or in a format that will be handed out to potential customers. 
Digital media is any form of media that uses electronic devices for distribution. Books that were originally available only in print are being gradually converted to digital format. While new books are now conceptualized, written, designed, and illustrated precisely for this online media. Readers can find access and enjoy these electronic books or ebooks via digital media tablets, ebook readers, and other handheld reading devices. And now, let's proceed with the industrial design and fashion design. Industrial design is a process of design applied to products that are to be manufactured through the techniques of mass production, like furnitures, appliances, gadgets, and more. On the other hand, fashion design is the art of applying design, aesthetics, clothing construction, and natural beauty to clothing and its accessories. It is influenced by cultural and social attitudes and has varied over time and place. Filipinos are well known in the field of innovation of products and industrial design. Let us meet the Philippines' famous designers. Kenneth Cobonpue. He is a multi-awarded designer and creative director of Hype, a design and manufacturing facility for designers of interior accessories and lighting. His client list encompasses myriad notables from Queen Sofia of Spain and Queen Rania of Jordan to Hollywood royals Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Monique Lewellier, a Filipino fashion designer who first rose to prominence for her exquisite wedding gowns. Her collections include bridal and bridesmaids dresses, ready-to-wear, evening gowns, linens, tableware, stationery, and home fragrances. Her list of clientele includes Blake Lively, Demi Lobato, Gwyneth Paltrow, Reese Witherspoon, Michelle Obama, Emma Stone, Jennifer Lopez, Taylor Swift, Melania Trump, and Katy Perry. Josie Natori, a Filipino-American fashion designer who began her career as an investment banker before she made the dramatic shift to creating her own lines of lingerie, resort, and loungewear, as well as semi-formal and casual attire. She established the Natori Company that has built up a lifestyle brand that includes four lingerie lines, the Natori Ready-to-Wear collection, home accessories, fragrance, and eyewear. One of her famous clients is no other than Ofra Winfrey. Rahul Laurel. He is best known to the general public as a judge on a television series, Project Runway Philippines. He established the House of Laurel and Rahul Laurel Enterprise. His creations maintain a Filipino sensibility, incorporating embroidery, beadwork, and hand-painted prints while also offering the prestige of limited edition pieces. Rahul Laurel's clients include the Filipino presidents, celebrities, and movie stars, and he has designed dresses worn notable international clients including Tyra Banks, Maha Salvador, Kylie Versosa, and Dianara Torres. Lulu Tangan. She is known for her fashionable knitwear lines and dubbed as the queen of knitwear in the Philippines. Her vision is to encourage the use of stylus indigenous and traditional wear as she draws inspiration from the rich textile and embroidery traditions of the Philippines and interprets this in modern styles and silhouettes. Each Tangan's creation is 95% handmade and handloomed by the Philippine artisans. Her work of arts were worn by the socialites and diplomatic spouses. Dita Sandico Ong, another Philippine fashion designer who has been advocating the use of local weaving techniques and natural fibers. She is known as the wrap artist of the Philippines for her famous bold colored wraps. She first experimented with the local weave of Ilocosur known as Inabel. 
as well as sweet pineapple fibers blended with Irish linen dubbed Pinyalino. Her design clothes were worn by Mel Chanco, Corina Sanchez, Christine Bersola, Cherry Mercado, Socialites, and Diplomatic Spouses. And now, welcome to Project Runway. For your activity, I want you to create a unique design. A dress using materials available in your home. You may have recycled materials or you may use coloring materials in making your design. Here are some of the designs. Here are the criteria in grading your design. First, creativity and craftsmanship, execution of design, and the materials used in making a design. Second, principles and elements of design and composition, evidence of principle and elements of design. Third, quality, focus on the quality materials used in creating a design. Fourth, concept and idea. Presented the idea in a unique way. The maximum points for each criterion is 5, while the minimum point is 1. Send these photos to your MAPI teacher through Facebook Messenger, Google Drive, or any platforms provided by your teacher. And now, challenge yourself in a 5-item quiz. I will read the question and choices once. You are only given 5 seconds to write the letter of the correct answer for each question. Art Warriors, are you ready? This is the Art Pop Quiz Challenge! Question number 1. What group of animators that aims to create an identity for the Philippines within the animation industry and making it one of the preferred sources for animation services worldwide? A. Animated College of the Philippines Incorporated B. Animation Council of the Philippines Incorporated C. Anime Collaboration of the Philippines Incorporated D. Animated Council of the Philippines Incorporated The correct answer is B. Animation Council of the Philippines Incorporated Question number 2. What form of media-based art describes as any written or pictorial form of communication produced mechanically or electronically using printing or photocopying? A. Film B. Industrial design C. Photography D. Print media The correct answer is D. Print media Question number 3. What animated movie is said to be the country's first all-digital full-length animated feature film that was produced by Cutting Edge Productions which presents Philippine mythical creatures as heartwarming characters in a young boy's adventure? A. Animahinasyon B. Dayo sa mundo ng Elementalia C. RPG Metanoia D. Or duha. The correct answer is B. Dayo sa mundo ng elementalia. Question number 4. Which among the following fashion designers is known for her fashionable knitwear lines and dubbed as the queen of knitwear in the Philippines? A. Dita Sandiko O. B. Josie Natori C. Kenneth Cobonpue D. Lulu Tangan The correct answer is D. Lulu Tangan And last, question number 5. Which among the following personalities is considered as the father of the Filipino comics? A. Francisco V. Cochi B. Paulo Fabregas C. Paul Medina Jr. D. 
Tony Velasquez. The correct answer is D. Tony Velasquez. Well done, Art Warriors! I am happy that you were able to challenge yourself to do the pop quiz. And for the effort that you do, I will give you the fourth Art Warrior badge. How many Art Warrior badges did you get? If you get all the Art Warrior badges, congratulations! You unlock your fourth quarter lessons. For your assignment, you will create your own comic book. And here are the instructions. First, design upon the subject matter and main character or characters for a simple 5 frame comic strip that you will create. Second, conceptualize and create the storyboard for the comic strip frames. Third, indicate the text and or dialogue that will appear in each frame. Fourth, Render the main characters and the background details using an illustration program or apps like PowerPoint, Canva, Pickstone, Storyboard That, and etc. And last, send it to your MAPI teacher through Facebook Messenger, Google Drive, or any platform provided by your teacher. To sum it up, Art Warriors, animation is a process of designing drawing, making layouts, and preparation of photographic sequences which are integrated in the multimedia and gaming products. Print media is any written or pictorial form of communication produced mechanically or electronically using printing or photocopying, while digital media is any form of media that uses electronic devices for distribution. Industrial design is a process of design applied to products that are to be manufactured through techniques of mass production. Fashion design is the art of applying design, aesthetics, clothing construction, and natural beauty to clothing and its accessories. That's all for today, Art Warriors, and always remember, technology makes possibilities, design makes solutions, Art makes questions, and leadership makes actions. Once again, this is Jericho Pontipiadra, your art teacher. Stay safe, everyone. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye!